Oh, screw this. I'm gonna go watch you on YouTube. Bam, 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 bam. It's over. It's over, boys. It's over. We're done. We're washed. I'm washed. I'm washed. I'm washed. I'm white. Plus L. Plus ratio. Plus NBA young boy did it better. Plus NBA young boy never in prison again. Yeah, dude. I love. You know what I should have done? I should have had. I should have had corn on. Santa by brain rot. Let's go. I should have had corn on to give me like live reacts to the Kanye Drake uh uh music. You know the concert right up. That would have been nice. fun and funny. I shouldn't. I should have thought about that. Bye also, now. to the person who's saying, uh, to the person who's saying that, like, uh, you know, NBA Youngboy released an album, number one album from prison. You wouldn't even stream from prison, would you? Are you insane? Have you never met me? If I had the opportunity to be able to stream in prison, Aiden started crying while watching the concert. Are you serious? If I had the opportunity to be able to stream from prison, do you think I wouldn't stream from prison? Are you insane? I would literally not stop. I would. I would stream twenty four seven. It would be worse than. It would be worse than twenty twenty. I, you know, like in the year 2020, I streamed 42% of the year, like the entire year, right? I was live 42% of the year. If I went to prison, I would live stream 70 to 80% of the year. Like I would be doing sleep streams and shit too, straight up. Bro, imagine the prison drama. It'd be so good. Dude, I'd get shanked. I was in prison. White supremacists blame us on for lockdown. Socialism is when no yard time. Listening? Wait, what? Police body cam video recorded on January 4th shows Trevian Cuddy, a publicist for hip-hop artist Kanye West, telling a Georgia election worker who former President Trump falsely accused of manipulating votes that she was in imminent danger. Wait, what? It's no problem. Uh, good evening. How are you? Follow at Bassanabai on all social media sites. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mara. Agreed to meet with us. Um, we didn't want to frighten you, but we had to find you within this time bracket. Um, I'm here because I received a call. Not that I didn't know about the situation before, because I had heard that it wasn't, um, uh, uh, Wait. um, we didn't want to frighten you, but we had to find you within this time bracket. Um, I'm here because I received a call. Not that I didn't know about the situation before, because I had heard we would like to um, let you know first and foremost, we have put in placement um, a way to move you to secure you um, from what may be authorized in the next 48 hours. And we have a couple of 48 hours to move you. We do it on your schedule. I cannot say what specifically will um, take place. I just know that it will disrupt your freedom and practice uh, the freedom of one or more of your family members. Um, I would like to connect now um, on the phone Harrison Ford, who would be taking uh, Harrison Ford? What a strange, like, sequence. This is one of those videos. Bro, this is one of those videos where you're like, oh, that's crazy. What the f is that about? And then you're like, oh my God, it's getting crazier every second that this video goes on. Where you're just like, like, what is happening right now? It's not the Harrison Ford, apparently. No shot, right? This situation to um, a detailed level for you to let me know that we have what This is Garrison. He works with me. We got Harrison Ford and Garrison Ford here with us. Okay. Garrison Ford is going to take you to a secure uh, location. You are a loose end for... You are a loose end for a party that needs to tidy up? A party that needs to tidy up. What? Bro, she's like, Freeman says, who is Harrison Ford? She's like, what, what you mean Indiana Jones? <laughs> Bro, she said, crisis is my passion. <laughs> Good one, chatter. Hey, by the way, I just want to let you know, um, you know, crisis is my thing. It's my passion. I love crises. I like making crises. Crises. Who is Harrison Ford? Um, I'm going to 
We did a joke. Uh, Greg, all for you, Hassan, Hassan, Hassan. What is happening? The officer to know this is at this moment a conversation between private citizens. I am hoping that you will hear me and trusting that this information doesn't go any further. Um, I have to honestly advise I don't know her background. I can step over there if you're okay. if you're comfortable. That's okay. fine? Yeah, I, I want her to be comfortable, but I also want to advise her that there are federal people who are involved here. For two months, subbed after two years of YouTube has stand by. And I, I really need for her to be as nonchalant as... That's an XQC debate word. She's doing a nonchalance. Bro, what is happening here? Like, I'm so lost. We need to, we need to actually read the article. Okay. So Atlanta, weeks after 2020 election, Chicago publicist for hip hop artist Kanye West traveled to the suburban home of Ruby Freeman, a frightened Georgia election worker who was facing death threats after being falsely accused by former President Trump of manipulating votes. The publicist knocked on the door and offered to help. The visitor, Trivion Cuddy, gave her name, but didn't say she worked for West, a longtime billionaire friend of Trump. She said she was sent by a high-profile individual whom she didn't identify to give Freeman an urgent message, confess to Trump's voter fraud allegations, or people would come to her home in 48 hours and she'd go to jail. Freeman refused. This story of how an associate of a music mogul pressured 62-year-old uh, temporary election worker at the center of a Trump conspiracy theory is based on previously unreported police report. What? What? is happening no she literally was like you know we're gonna i don't even we're gonna throw you in jail i'm working with like you know some very powerful people confess to it dude that's crazy dude that's actually crazy i mean that's crazy you know what i mean like I don't know if I can play this but god damn dude it's just guess who's going to jail tonight dude who's going to jail tonight who yeah, guess who is going to jail tonight Kanye West publicist I hope in this footage reaches way back to a Kanye in a legal sense accountable for the intimidation harassment I mean, if it's a conspiracy to intimidate and harass someone on behalf of Donald Trump, then yes. I don't think Ye put her up to this. She's crazy on her own. Yeah, probably. And by the way, God is not going to pose her bail tonight. Let's be real, okay? She was R. Kelly's publicist until 2018. Oh, this lady's got some good background, dude. All right. So Freeman refuses, brave of her, this 62-year-old woman, okay, this old lady who is at the center of a Trump-backed conspiracy in Georgia, okay, conspiracy theory in Georgia that's like threatening her life. And this psycho comes in and, uh, and for the record, for those of you to, to, like, she could have been totally operating on her own outside of like the purview of Kanye West, okay? And remember, uh, there was a lot of GOP uh, officials that were trying to partner up with Kanye's team. So she could have very easily made contact with one of those people and then decided to do this on her own. Cause like, I don't think Kanye cares that much about, you know, uh, like at that point he was just more worried about not losing Kim Kardashian. I think, you know what I mean? He's just like, he totally dropped the whole MAGA thing for Kim Kardashian. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just like, I don't care. Please take me back. Kim K. I love you. I don't care that you're having sex with Pete Davidson. And you, you know, you're, he's giving, you're giving him hickeys like you're in high school or something. Uh, please. Okay. Please just let's, let's get back together. You're the, you know, you're the mother of my children. Like what the, f um, Hey, can you reach out to young thugs agent, update my rider and threaten a Georgia election worker with jail? <laughs> yeah. 2021 is ending with a body cam actually being turned on. Yeah. Surprising that, uh, you know. The, the most surprising thing is that there are black people in the presence of a police officer and the body cameras are actually turned on. Okay. <laughs> That's the most surprising part about this progress comes in different shapes, sizes, and colors. Okay. That's that it is progress, but 
still very weird that the cop's not doing anything Bye, about this weird conversation that she is seemingly a part of. Hassan again with another shit take. Please stop streaming. You are causing brain cancer to people. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's just the average. At least that's an honest uh, hate watcher who's like, I just, I just want you to stop streaming like nothing else. I didn't even say anything that like, I didn't say anything controversial so far, by the way. Anyway, Cuddy did not respond to request of comments. Okay. Oh, the Freeman refused. This story is how an associate of a music mogul pressured a 62 year old temporary election worker at the center of a Trump conspiracy theories based on previously unreported police recordings and reports, legal filings and Freeman's first media interview since she was dragged in the Trump's attempt to reverse election laws. No, I did not say Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi would never do such a thing, okay? Kid Cudi is a Maoist third worldist. Do not ruin this for me. In my mind, he, isn't, he hasn't talked about it, so he must be a Maoist third worldist. Kim Cudi sees the revolutionary potential of the, the developing nations, okay? He recognizes it. In my head canon, he is literally one, he's a Hasanabi head, but he thinks like I'm too much of a pussy. You know what I mean? And two, uh, you know, when he's not in front of the cameras, he's actually uh, he, he's actually responding to the international calls of arms by like, uh, you know, uh, people in Rojava and other places. Anyway, comrade Cuddy. Okay. Cuddy did not respond to the uh, request for comment. Her biography at her work at the Women's Global Initiative, a, a Turkish person in the chat just said that it's like 200 liras to buy to toilet hands. paper now, which is insane. We're going to get to Blizzard doing union busting in a second. The story is insane, though. When Cuddy knocked on Freeman's door January 4th, uh, Freeman called 911. By then, Freeman said she was very, she was wary of strangers. Good thing she did that. That's why there was a cop there, which, by the way, uh, incredible that this cop is, like, not doing anything. Like, she literally, she's like, please, I need your help. I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> there's, like, people trying to murder me. And the cop is just basically sitting there as she threatens this other uh, uh, person. By the time Cuddy arrived, Freeman months. needed help, but was cautious and wouldn't open the door because of the threats according to Freeman in a police report. So Freeman asked a neighbor to come over and talk with Cuddy, who was with an unidentified male. Like Freeman, Cuddy and the other visitor were black. Cuddy told the neighbor that Freeman was in danger and that she'd been sent to provide assistance. Freeman said she was open to meeting them. She asked Cobb County police to send an officer to keep watch so she could step outside according to the recording of her 911 call. They're saying that I need help, Freeman told the dispatcher, referring to the people at her door, that it's all just a matter of time that they're going to come out for me and my family. An officer arrived and spoke with Cuddy, who described herself as a crisis manager. That's insane. You're a loose end. Inside the station, Cuddy and Freeman met in a corner, according to the footage from a body camera worn by an officer present at the meeting. Reuters obtained the video through a public records request. I cannot say what specifically will take place. We already saw that part. I do think it's wild that the cop just basically sat there and was like, let's, let's see what happens here. This seems interesting. Uh, she's got to be schizophrenic. No shot. Nope. Nope. That's, uh, that's, I mean, she definitely has some, like, you know, this can be bad. Eric Adams talks tough on crime, warns BLM leader Hawk Newsom not to mess with New York City. Wait, that's actually yes, good. Bogus. That's not bad. You know, Hawk Newsom is like a psycho, right? Hawk Newsom is kind of like Cuddy, uh, a, a charlatan, an anti-vaxxer who also traffics uh, in the name of Black Lives Matter. To like exclusively advocate for uh you know bullshit he's like at the every yeah this is actually a good thing he's right eric adams is eric adams is totally right to say that and and call him out this is not he's a grifter hawk newsom is a grifter he said he claims to be blm to, to you know uh to, to shit up and like he he went to the restaurant uh where they where you know the texas people assaulted like the hostess like he he's at every one of these like weirdo uh protests. Anyway, and this is like right before January six too. According to Freeman, Cuddy told her that she was gonna put a name man named Harrison Ford. Freeman said the man on the phone was an wasn't the actor by the same name. Cuddy said the man had authoritative powers to get you protection. At that point, Cuddy can be heard asking the officer to give him privacy. Bro, I swear to God, if she went through with them, I feel like <laughs> I feel like they were gonna execute them. You know what I mean? Damn like, I, I feel like they were going to just looking clap him, tie up the loose ends. You know what I'm saying? On the topic of Eric Adams, did you see New York City is expanding voting rights? Great. Anyway. Throwing suspicious Freeman said she jumped up from her chair and told Cuddy the devil is a liar before calling for an officer. Later at home, Freeman said she Googled Cuddy's name and discovered she was a Trump supporter. Police say they did not investigate the incident for... Wait, what? 
They did not investigate this incident further? Dude, cops are such hogs, dude. You have it on camera. Let's go, Arya and Pokey. You literally have it on camera. I don't understand why you would just, like, drop this. Police say they did not... Like, that's... This person, like, attempted to kidnap another human being. Uh, West, who changed his name in October to Yay, did not respond to requests for comments. Reuters could not independently confirm whether Cuddy still works for West or in what capacity. Uh, she was, of course, up until 2018. R. Kelly's uh, uh, publicist as well, worrying with R. Kelly. You know, that's another... That's a, that's a good one. Uh, anyway, the meeting took place after weeks after... On January 5th, the day after Freeman's meeting with Cuddy... An agent from the Federal Bureau of Investigation called Freeman and urged her to leave her home of 20 years because it wasn't safe, Freeman said. In the following day, January 6th, Cuddy's prediction that people would descend on Freeman's home in 48 hours proved correct, according to a defamation lawsuit Freeman and Moss filed last week against the far-right news site. Freeman, the lawsuit said, left hours before a mob of anger Trump supporters surrounded her home, shouting through bullhorns. That is psychotic. I love that, like, Freeman, or not Freeman, I love that Cuddy made it seem as though the Joe Biden administration was coming after her because she had been a part of like a conspiracy to do voting fraud. And, and, and it, it, as a matter of fact, it was actually the psychotic hogs that were coming after her. This is so insane. Keck, you don't even realize that the Constitution allows for individuals to do a citizen's kidnapping. Honestly, do you even know anything? Is this guy being serious or is he memeing? I can't tell. Yeah, he's got to be trolling, right? Like, unless you mean like a citizen's arrest or Stop something. Chat. Wait, 48 hours? Does that mean it happened on January 6th? Yeah, on, on January 6th, I guess they were, you know, busy doing this shit. Talked about Eric Adams already. Um, this is psychotic, but uh, not that surprising, I guess. Bro, what the hell? Are you okay, man? Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>